So what are the different components we're really talking about in that real-time communication, right? We're talking about audio conferencing, video conferencing, web conferencing. Um, we're talking about instant message, face telephony, as well as voicemail. And, and some of those, remember, that's more going to sit on the exchange side. But you can't separate it too much because people associate voicemail more with the telephony side, even though it's really more of an asynchronous communication. So when we think about the link world, this is where we've been for the past few years. If we go back through the history of the product, back all the way to LCS through OCS, Office Communication Server, up through Link 2010 and 2013, Link 2010 is really where we started marketing uh, Link as a PBX replacement. There were plenty of customers who were using OCS and OCS R2 um, as a PBX replacement, were using it as their enterprise telephony system, but it wasn't truly really marketed that way because there were still some features, things like call park, um, and, and hold and some ACD functions that just didn't exist in the OCS world that they added in Link 2010. And that's really when Link matured and became an enterprise class PBX. So since the early Link days, we have been deploying it for people as that full communications, uh, real-time communication platform. So when we think about the other side of that of Skype, what has Skype been? Skype has been that same thing, but on the consumer side for uh, organization, for individuals to connect and collaborate with each other, uh, that video IM presence. It's one of the things that actually made Link so easy to deploy because m most of our user base was already familiar with instant messaging, was already familiar with presence, was already familiar with um, uh, you know, collaborating with each other in that way. And in fact, Link was the answer to people not using the public services because we had an extra requirement there of security and compliance and being able to record or audit what people are doing that just didn't exist with the public IMs. So when we take those two worlds and we're going to merge them together, we're going to get a pretty powerful product. So again, when we think about Link, again, simplifying how people are communicating. 